Idaho 6 forecast. Well, good morning, Idaho, and happy Tuesday. 646 is the time for you, and we've got lots of weather stuff to get to, and even some traffic news to update you on. So we're just going to hop right into it. For those of you who are maybe worried about what that temperature is going to feel like, we have wind speeds that are upward to about 18, 20 miles per hour between Mountain Home and Twin Falls, anywhere from about 6 to 10 miles per hour over in the Caldwell Boise area. Because it's Arctic air coming in from Canada, it is dropping our wind chill down. We are actually going to feel like 16 degrees here in Boise, 11 degrees in Mountain Home, and we're actually going to start to feel negative as you head further east. You're going to see temperatures anywhere from about two to five negative uh, for most of today, honestly. So if you're maybe again planning ahead, just make sure you have layers on hand, the coffee hand warmers. If you work outside, just make sure that you stay warm. Now we're talking about traffic this morning. The rush hour uh, forecast for you. If you're heading in to work, you can maybe expect to see a morning flurry or two in places like here in Canyon County heading out towards the east. Uh, we're taking a look at our heading home forecast. It's going to be clear and cloudy no matter where you are. We're not going to see snow falling. It will be cold though, so that 35 degrees is going to feel much colder. But let's go ahead and show you what's happening over at ID4 in Garrity. You can see we've got some bumper to bumper traffic right now heading in those eastbound lanes. This is not an ideal start to your morning. I know many of you, this is your Monday. And unfortunately, we are seeing that these conditions are extending now down to our ID4 and 10 mile camera. Here's a look at what you can expect if you're going to continue in this eastward pa um, pattern. We're seeing that as this camera refreshes, more and more cars are heading this way. Now, even though it looks clearer in contrast, uh, it is still seeing some of the effects. And what exactly is happening? Why are we seeing maybe some of these conditions? Well, unlike what's happening in Boise, where we don't see any maybe ice or snow on the ground or even that much fog, we are seeing that there is some fog issues down towards Caldwell, about three miles of visibility, patchy fog if you're heading east or west, just that little chunk right there. But if you head into Boise, even down to Mountain Home, or if you were to head perhaps west towards Ontario, you're going to see that those conditions are clearing. Now, the relief for those of you when we looked at that rush hour forecast, we're not expecting any morning flurries, no matter where you're going to be down here in the Treasure Valley. In fact, we are going to be cloudy today. Like we said, these temperatures are going to be misleading because we do have to still deal with those wind speeds. So because the Arctic air, anything really above three, four miles per hour, you're going to feel a difference. And the West Central Mountains, we've been anticipating and we are expecting morning snow showers and that should taper off through this afternoon. But in the East Central Mountains, we will see some mostly cloudy conditions. No morning snow flurries or even afternoon snow flurries. Temperatures though only topping 16 degrees in places like Stanley. Now that wind is going to extend out towards the Magic Valley as well. We're looking at some cloudy conditions. The wind is going to take these temperatures and make it feel much cooler. Seven day extended does say that we have some relief coming for us. It's just not coming immediately. We've got to get through at least your Wednesday, Thursday, but by Friday we'll start to see a change in the weather pattern. Cloud coverage will move out of the way and we'll see that we go from the high 30s into the low 40s, even tipping into the high 40s, low 50s Sunday to Monday.